for me. It's for my five-year-old son. Whether it's a sled, a shovel, or salt, Bostonians gearing up for the first sizable snowfall of the season. I've been waiting. <laughs> I love snow. Jack Gernon, owner of Charles Street Supply in Beacon Hill, says it's been busy with people stocking up. And there's a the huge supply shortage, but since there's been no snow, you know, our warehouse is pretty well stocked. Boston Public Schools canceling classes already for tomorrow ahead of the storm moving in. We are not at the point yet of calling a snow emergency. We do, um, given that it's during the morning commute, decided the safest route for Boston Public School students, especially given bus driver shortages, was to call a snow day for school. And with the city snowfall comes those notorious space savers. But space savers are only allowed when a snow emergency is declared. They're valid for 48 hours after the emergency ends ends and after that you've got to remove it or the city will discard it. Space savers are not allowed in the south end. I'm going to be wide awake tonight thinking about that miserable commute to work. Neil Tranford has to drive from home in Dorchester to work in Rhode Island at 4:30 in the morning where and when the snowfall is predicted to be the heaviest. I'm going to be driving on Route 24 for an hour in the middle of a blizzard so I'm not looking forward to it at all. Now, Boston Fire just tweeting out this photo, reminding folks to shovel out hydrants in catch basins and making sure people keep their vents clear to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. We're live here in South Boston this evening. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.